Hello, Joe Lyons, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to create and use AutoHotKey functions. Do, I'm going to do a quick review here of what functions are. So, um, and I grabbed this and I think I made some minor tweaks, but from the AutoHotKey forum uh, and documentation. A function is very similar to a go sub in the sense that it'll, it'll jump down and run that code that you're telling it to do. Um, the, the different is, one of the main differences is that you can pass a parameter to that function and um, it's allows it to be very, very flexible. Um, you can also return a value from it, um, and that value, um, usually it's one thing, but you can, using by ref or returning an object in an array, you can actually return multiple values. Uh, I'm not going to get that into this video, but later on I'll have some demonstration videos on that. So that's what functions are. Now here's a good question of why would I use a function? Well, the scope, um, in, which is like reusing variables, so if you have variables inside of a function, they aren't global, and you don't have to worry about confl conflicting variables that are in other parts of your script, so if you have one variable titled um, blah, inside your function you can have another variable titled blah, and they don't conflict with each other because it's only local. Um, as I mentioned earlier, passing parameters makes it really easy to start repurposing your code and use it over and over, which gets back into code maintenance and readability. So code maintenance, when you go to update something, you can have referenced that function in a lot of different places, but when you need to go update it or maintain it and change something, you're going to one place to change it, and that way it gets applied everywhere. And in readability, it's just a lot easier to read through it and you don't have to worry about, um, it's just clearer to understand, <coughs> often. Obviously you can create a function that's hard to follow, but um, the goal is to make it very easy to read. Wh what I tend to do is think about with functions is, is I think about like Excel. And in Excel, when you learn spreadsheets, you know, you, you insert something in a given spreadsheet, but it references, you know, a, a one cell somewhere, and in that spreadsheet, you might reference that same cell over and over and over in different places, and that way you can always go back and just change the, sp the one cell, and it'll get updated everywhere. Alright, so let's dive into real quickly here how to use a function. So in this first example, we're going to demonstrate how to use a message box, and then I'm going to do a quick one on math, and then how to return a value. So these first three here are going to be in my this function, we um, this video. These are the other ones I'm going to do at a later time. Um, so let's go in here, and I'm using Studio in my example. Oh, I forgot I have my little stuff I was playing with, so I'm going to save this now. First, I'm going to go ahead and define my function. And down here, I'm going to call it, let's say, my func, right? And that, I'm putting in parens. And right now, I'm not going to pass a parameter. If I was, I'd put it in here. And I'm going to put in a bracket, so there's parens and brackets. I'm going to hit Enter. And in this simple one, let's just put in a message box hi, right, really exciting function. Now when I come up here, and I'm going to put in a return just so you can see when I launch this, it's just going to be running everything from line 1 to line 5, right, and here I'm going to say, I'm going to call my func, and so uh, Studio, HQ Studio is nice because it looks at what's out there and it'll offer it up, so when I launch this, save and launch it, it's going to call this function, which is going to tell it jump down here, and in this case, we're just going to do a message box. So I'm going to run it. Yeah, okay. Now when I hit my hotkey, oh, look at that. It says hi, right? Um, <coughs> let's And just to demonstrate, hi, there, save, reload, call it, there, right? Not an not a exciting thing. Now I can also, let me demonstrate this. I'm going to duplicate it, and now when I run it, it's going to call that function twice. So hi, um, there, there. And of course, now, unless you're going to say there, there, now, um, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. <coughs> but let's say we wanted to pass a, a parameter to that value. And so up here, I'm going to, actually, I need to first insert it into my function, right? So this is where I'm going to say um, there is going to be what I pass. It can You can pretty much name it any sort of uh, auto hotkey variable. And I'm going to say here, a message box, um, we'll say hello, and then here, I'm going to reference that variable, right? So this here is referring to whatever I pass to it. And so now when I, let's comment this one out for now, I'm going to say, oops, quotes, Joe, when I save this reload and launch, it says hello Joe, right? If I change this to Bob, 
it's going to say hello Bob and that's because this is hard coded but I've put in it here to to pull back that variable to to reference what is here and insert it as I pass it through or this is the beauty of it right I can call it two different times now the first time I run that well I shouldn't say run it the first time I reference this function it's going to say hello Bob now when I hit OK a second message box is going to pop up and it's going to say hello Joe right because I've called the function twice um, two different times, and the first time I, my, I was referencing Bob, and the second time I was referencing Joe. And that way we can pass um, a value, a variable. And here, let me just demonstrate it just so it's it's obvious. I'm going to call this dog, just, just to um, make sure you understand exactly what's going on here. So here, I'm going to say dog equals Luke. Now when I run this, I first define a variable entitled dog, and then I'm passing that variable to my function, which inside here it is going to call it in reference hello Luke. Okay. Now, what if I had a dog inside? Let's say um, I'm trying to think of a better way to, to to demonstrate this, but I think that really is it. Um, let's say here I say dog equals um, Great Dane. Now when I call it, it still says Luke because this dog is local inside this function and also if I was to appear um, either on both sides of these, if like look at this, when I say message box dog here and I'm going to run it um, after I call this, oops, I can't do it after that. We put this here, so dog. So before and after, um, dog, is, Great Dane is going to be there now. Um, I should have guessed left Luke. But um, inside here, it it um, if I have a dog defined, it doesn't matter. Um, I probably am spelling that horribly, but Rottweiler. Um, notice, so the first one is um, Great Dane, and hello Great Dane, so now we're inside the function, and then it's back to Great Dane, right? This this version of dog is local inside the function, outside dog on both sides, and demonstrating that it's not um, the same thing, so you can you don't have to worry about that. Let's let's do um, the math example, which is a very common thing, is, as a, an example. So we're going to say here is Bear one equals six. Bear two equals seven. Um, and I'll get rid of this and that. And here I'm going to pass two parameters, um, and I'm going to call them x and y. You can you can call these the same thing as these, but I'm just making it obvious that you don't have to, right? You shouldn't. Um, and you, that way it helps you keep them clear in your head. But here I need to pass and say here's an x and a y variable, right? Um, that's what this will know where these to put these. And here I'm going to say, um, let's stick with the message box first, x plus y. Oop, y. Now when I reload and run this, I did something wrong. Um, I don't think it's that they're not in quotes, because that would put that in as a string. Let's put it down in there. Let's, let's do this. So here, here's a great example of troubleshooting, right? So I'm going to put in a message box here and say x, which I need to add in a percent sign there. x percent, oops, percent y. Now this is just going to, it's going to have three message boxes. Oh, and see, so I'm not passing for some reason. I am not, oh, I'm an idiot. Because, and I, you know what, let's, to simplify, I'm going to, you know what, I'll do it here first. So x equals 6, y equals 7. Now when I rerun this, so now it's going to say 6, because we're right here, 7 on the next one, and the next one, 13, right? Not a surprise. What I did was I had forgotten to rename these up here, and, and just to put it in here, I could put them here, right? I don't have to have them defined elsewhere. I'll comment these out, save, reload, 
um, 6, 7, 13. So let me go ahead and get rid of these. Um, and now I just have the 13, right? And if I change this to 10, it's 16, right? Now what if I wanted to actually return that value? So that right now, here, if, um, let's say, let's say I do this, uh, z equals that, and now I'm going to say message box percent z. So it's still within here, the first one's going to be So inside the function is still 16. Now here it's zero, right? And you'd think um, initially that would work, um, but I didn't return the value. So that stayed local, and I didn't return the value. What I really want to do is, and actually let's see. I think I can. Uh, I'm just going to do it in a separate line to say. So I'm going to say return um, x plus y. Now I'm I'm going to return. Oops, yeah, I can, can't can talk and chew bubblegum either. Um, I'm going to return x plus y, and so now, um, actually, and I'll call my that this line, just keep it simple. So it's going to call the function, it's going to take 6 plus 10, oh, you know what, And I, I messed up because I don't want to comment it out entirely. Oh, actually, that'll be fine, right? Um, it is going to re re return the value of x plus y. I don't actually have to say what it equals here because it's going to do the math, um, do the expression, and return the value. So when I save, reload, and run it, it's now this is where, oops, outside, um, when I reload this and run it, <coughs> so notice it says outside 16, right? That's I'm just proving that I'm outside the function, and I returned the value of x plus y. I returned that back here, I then set it, now I don't have to actually set it to equal a variable, right? I could have just put it here and said message box, let me get rid of this, and it still works fine, but I didn't save it anywhere. And if I want to save it, that's how I first did it, where I saved it. And that's all I wanted to demonstrate in this video. Functions are amazing ways to simplify your code and, and allow you to repurpose things over and over and over. Um, I highly suggest you dive deep into them. And I'll make a few more videos demonstrating some of the other great things you can do with them. That's it. Thanks.